Dear members of the AAT ADPD community, I welcome you enthusiastically to the first entirely virtual AAT ADPD conference. Initially planned for Vienna, the global coronavirus crisis forced us to go digital. In this sense, you are becoming part of a historic conference. Environmentally sound, scientifically superb, and hopefully virus-free. As of March 24th, we have 970 registered attendees from 53 countries, 714 submitted abstracts, 326 speakers, 413 poster presenters, and 23 exhibiting companies. 10 corporate sponsors are supporting this first virtual AAT ADPD meeting. I thank our corporate sponsors for continued support. Kenneth for mounting a heroic effort to get this virtual congress going. And I thank you for logging on and joining our community via the web. Hopefully, this crisis will be over to meet in person for ADPD 2021 in Barcelona and for AAT ADPD 2022 in Lisbon. Dear colleagues and friends, these are historic and difficult times. And while unwanted and regrettable, we are trying to make the best out of them by zooming in advances in therapy. Among the many lessons we have learned from this crisis is the insight that advances in the therapy continue to be desperately needed. The advances on Alzheimer's therapy conferences that we called Springfield because they were founded in 1988 in Springfield, Illinois. In 2018, AAT, the ex Springfield, fused with ADPD to continue the ATT tradition with a very strong emphasis on treatment. This allowed us to broaden our approach to include therapy for multiple neurodegenerative pathologies, of course, with a special focus on Alzheimer and Parkinson's disease. Today, we have reached yet another milestone. The first digital Congress on advances in AD and PD therapy. I welcome you to our first virtual Congress. I hope it will bring you many insights and new ideas that can turn into tangible advances <clears throat> for the patient and families who are relying on us. Thank you. Dear friends and colleagues, dear members of the ADPD family, for ADPD, the science of finding solutions for patients with Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease has always been in our DNA. The science remains our top priority even in these challenging times. With even greater drive, we should exchange data and share scientific insights. It is the elderly population who faces a huge risk with the coronavirus. The very same women and men we want to help with our ADPD therapies. It is on us to improve their quality of life, to make their lives more enjoyable and independent to the extent possible. From our home offices, we are able to listen, to communicate and to bring together colleagues, friends and competitors. Together, we can advance the science. I feel for our clinical colleagues, working day and night in hospitals around the world in the fight for lives and in the fight against the virus, making tough decisions, keeping up morale under enormous stress. Hopefully you will find a few hours of rest and spend some time with what you love, the science of clinical medicine and the quest for cure of neurodegenerative diseases. The collaborative spirit and the momentum academia, biotech 
and the pharmaceutical industry have unleashed in the past days and weeks is very impressive. Let's be inspired by this collaborative spirit. I am hopeful that we will learn from that spirit to bring significant advances to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases in the years to come. It is a joint effort. Today, we can make sure that advances in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's therapy will survive this crisis. Thank you so much for joining us online. Dear colleagues, as a clinician scientist, I am happy to welcome you to AAT ADPD at a very challenging time. Thanks to Kenneth, we can communicate almost normally. And I'm proud to tell you that we have a fantastic scientific program to share with you. For the first time in more than 20 years, we are witnessing an emerging era of novel treatments moving towards regulatory review. Disease modification is on the horizon for the first time in decades. New approaches bring new hopes, but they also challenge us. We need to learn even more about the underlying biological mechanisms, pharmacological principles, and their clinical applications. The 2020 AAT ADPD program combines all of these. Disease biology, novel therapeutic targets, diagnostic markers, advanced brain aging, and clinical trial results. Dear friends, dear colleagues, dear members of the AAD, ADPD family, extraordinary times take extraordinary measures, and the current coronavirus crisis has prompted us to take such an extraordinary measure. The first time AAD ADPD 2020 will be held as an entirely virtual meeting. Instead of meeting in person, we will meet over the web. Lectures will be held from remote locations. Posters will be shared virtually. Forum discussions and company symposia will be webcast online and on time. Exhibitors will meet online and can discuss new collaborations. To help us with this joint endeavor, to keep the scientific movement going, we ask you for your support. Stay with your commitment to AED ADPD 2020 and join us online, please. The AED ADPD tech teams at Canis are mounting extraordinary efforts to get this job done within the next weeks. Thank you very much for your continued support. Hopefully, this crisis will be over soon and we will be able to meet in person again at ADPD 2021 in Barcelona and at AAD ADPD 2022 in Lisbon.